Here's my Chinese cobbler machine. I wanted to use uh, 207 or 210 thread, but I needed to use, I needed to be able to have an industrial needle in it, and the industrial needle has a round shank and no flat spot. So I needed to modify a little bit of it. I was afraid to modify anything on here because I didn't want to make any permanent changes that would uh, damage it or make it not be able to use different thread. But uh, these modifications are super easy. They're, uh, uh, so you set this to uh, 12 o'clock and then you pull out uh, the bobbin, this, and this thing right here. Uh, you, you pull it out at 12 o'clock so that you'll know, you know how it goes in and out. Uh, I, you know, always make sure it's the same place. Then what I did was I took one of these little flat files, and I, there's a hole right here in the bottom. Stick it up through here. And I filed that spot until this here needle was able to fit down through it without being impeded by the wall right there. You see, uh, before it bent all out of shape, uh, you know, before it would push the wall and it would bend forward, and it, that wasn't really working. Uh, yeah, but, and the only other modification was, you know, once I, I put it on here, I pushed it all the way up, then I had to push this needle bar up, maybe about a quarter of an inch, and the, the, the reason why I had to do that was because the length of this industrial needle is just a little bit longer, uh, this much longer to be exact, than uh, the regular needle that it came with. So you can use industrial needles on these. All you gotta do is drill a bigger hole right here because this is where the needle goes down and then file this spot out. See right here? You look, you just look, I mean, you're doing a little bit of filing on it right now. Look, no big deal. It's, no, it's not gonna affect anything because it's just uh, basically giving more room for the needle to, uh, to operate down in here. Uh, so yeah, just take, buy you a set of these little files right here. This is actually a file. This is a, the diamond file that I really was using. I feel like the diamond file was able to get it better, but whatever, that's your preference. And with that, I was able to, uh, sew this right here. The next problem you'll run into after that is, uh, tension. And I ran my tension down through here, up through here, and then I have it. So here I have it here, here, I have it up through here. And yeah. Wait, is that right? Am I lying to all of you? No, I'm not. Yep, yeah, see. It comes up through here and it comes over this. And that gives it the perfect amount of tension. So here's three pieces of leather. This is, you know, usually the outer layer, the welt, and then the, you know, for whatever, for sheaths. Looks pretty good on both sides. It, uh, the thread embeds itself down in there too, so you don't have to worry about the thread catching and cutting. The only problem that I haven't solved yet is these marks that it puts right here. I've heard that you can you can take this foot off, file this down, and maybe coat it in like a like a rubber like a rubber coating so that it'll get traction on it. You know, whenever it moves, the foot moves. But uh, but yeah, I haven't done that yet. I'll do it eventually. But yeah, so there you go. Easy modification for using industrial needles. Just do the hole right heel here, file this out so that the needle can go down through there without hitting the wall, and you're done. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. And, I mean, it, that's it. It took me maybe 15 minutes to, to make that change. Make Just make sure that you orient this needle the, the right way and push it all the way up in there. Yep, okay, just like you do normally. Uh, with the uh, regular needles. Make sure it comes down that way and out that way. All right.